So I talked before about my fibromyalgia and how that affects me. I was supposed to record yesterday, but I didn't. Um, some days my chronic fatigue just just hits me and I can't I can't cope with that um, and I can't open my eyes and I necessarily can't wake up for long and I'm just sleeping all day. Um, I also talked about my autoimmune disorder and how that affects me with everything else mixed in. Um, today, currently, I am very sick. I went to do a couple of errands to pick up some ferret food for Trixie, my ferret, and I got sick like three or four times along the way. It was pretty terrible, but, you know, I had to get her food, so... So I'm here, and we're going to talk about um, pseudotumor cerebrae today, um, which is the latest condition on which they diagnosed me with. Uh, pseudotumor cerebrae affects women, usually of the childbearing age, and usually it, uh, it affects obese women. Um, I don't know where I stack up in that percentile, um, my body percentile is good, but somehow I managed to hit this. Oh, sorry. I managed to hit this wonderful thing just right. Um, so, pseudotumor cerebrae is a excess buildup of fluid and pressure inside the um, cranium around the brain. Uh, this could mean for certain people it's just high pressure and for others it could be pushing in on the brain and the um, optic nerves and the back of the eyes causing all sorts of problems. Mine specifically is the second causing all sorts of problems. Um, they have me on a medication for it however that medication is making me really sick right now. Um, it's giving me really bad side effects. I'm trying to soldier through it to see if it's just the starting doses that are making me so sick, but it's kind of like twin medication that they use to treat this thing. And when I tried it four years ago for a migraine, it made me go blind. Um, <clears throat> so, it is one of those things where you just have to try and hope and pray. Pseudotumor cerebrae is something that I wouldn't wish on anybody. It basically feels like you have a vice grip pressing in on your head all the time. And it's so excruciating and you can't explain it to anybody because they're going to say, Oh, you have a headache? You don't have a headache. You have this pressure that is just, feels like it's squishing your brain downwards. It's hard to describe other than describing it like that. And not many doctors are willing to listen to that. Um, but the few that do listen will get you a spinal tap. And that opening pressure, which mine was 42, which is severely high, will tell you that you have pseudotumor cerebrae. And then, basically, that'll be the cause for what this vice grip is that you feel in your head. Um, pseudotumor cerebrae, from what I can tell, is lifelong. Um, you will always build that pressure back up. There are surgical options, and for me, those surgical options are growing nearer and nearer. I'm trying this medication, but my body isn't coping well so far on it. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, basically... Pseudotumor cerebrae can just appear out of nowhere, can just build up, and bam, it's there. And 
honestly, it is a pressure in your brain for no reason. There's no tumor, but all the um, side effects present like there is a tumor. Um, your doctor will do a bunch of MRIs and an MRV to make sure there are no blood clots and no tumors and your brain looks healthy. In all cases on mine, my brain looked healthy. However, when they did that spinal tap on me, it showed that I had severely high pressure buildup in my head, which is the cause of all that, that thing. And in case you didn't know, my neurologist told me that the spinal fluid after the spinal tap will build up within an hour back of you getting the spinal tap. So spinal taps are not a treatment for pseudotumor cerebrae. They will just, an hour afterwards, your pressure will build back up and it'll be basically non-efficient at all. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm living with right now as my head feels like it's being compressed and causes me to get sick. The medication, let me see if I can just grab it really quick. The medication that they put me on is acetazolamide, 500 milligram capsules twice a day. Um, Hopefully this does something, and if it doesn't, I am well on my way to having brain surgery. Um, right now, personally, I feel like the world is spinning, and there isn't really much I can do about that. You know, it's just one of those things that I have to deal with, and I'm trying, but it's very difficult for me personally to want to get up and do something and just fall over because everything is slanted and I'm just so sick and just so tired and nobody really understands why because I look normal but all my diseases are like the kind that you can't see so everybody just it's so much judgment. You look perfectly healthy. I wish I were perfectly healthy like everybody told me I looked. I honest to God wish so. So that'll conclude um, part three of my daily vlog. I am sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Like I said, I got hit with my chronic fatigue pretty hard. Um, and there wasn't much I could really do. I couldn't really wake myself up. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to film then. We'll go over a little bit more um, about what I'm going through, another chronic illness, and I believe it'll be PCOS tomorrow that we talk about. Um, so I'll catch you on the flip side.